On this RV video, I'm going to show you how to make something that looks really expensive for your RV, but doesn't cost that much. So while this is actually something that could be done in your house, in the RV, I think that it's a great option. If it's not your permanent home, so like if you do this for the weekends and stuff, you don't want to spend a ton of money on making decor for your RV. So I'm going to show you a cool hack that I learned. I saw this hack and people were doing it on wood and they were doing it in real small scale. And I thought, I wonder why I can't do it in a bigger scale and do it on a canvas. So I tested it to start with, and I was really shocked how it turned out. Now, I don't know if this is coming through on the camera or not, but this looks, if you get it real close to it, it literally looks like a real canvas. Like somebody has seriously painted on this canvas. Now, I'm gonna tell you how I did this. So basically, all I did was went to the Dollar Tree, I got some canvases. I got like the little flat canvases and I got the big thick canvases. And I had some picture frames that I had gotten, some at the thrift store and some on the 70% off clearance at Hobby Lobby. And I did them a couple of different ways. So basically, I got 35 sheets of tissue paper for $1.25 at the Dollar Tree so you could make tons of these if you had enough frames. <laughs> then I just got the two canvases, the thin one or the thick one, either which one, whichever style that you want to use. The thin canvas, I personally think is easier to do than the thick one, but what I did with the thick one, I love how it turned out on this frame. Now the frames that you want, you wanna get one that'll be an eight by 10. That's what size the canvases are from the Dollar Tree. You could also probably get a picture frame from the Dollar Tree and do this as well. It would work great. I just wanted something that was more like real wood and looked a little more beefy, if that makes sense, beefy. Is that a word? I don't know. And you do wanna get, if you're at the Dollar Tree, get you some washi tape that they have there, just because that's probably the easiest kind of tape to take on and off of the tissue paper. You can somewhat take it off the tissue paper without it tearing. You're gonna take a piece of printer paper and you're gonna cut down the tissue paper to match that, maybe a little bit smaller. And then you're gonna attach that with the washi tape all the way around. And on the side that actually feeds into the printer, I did three pieces of tape on that side, in the center and the two sides to make sure that it didn't grab bunny. And when you put this on there, the biggest, probably the hardest part of this whole thing is to make sure that it's smooth as you can get because you don't want it to wrinkle up. You just send it through the inkjet printer and print whatever picture on it that you want. Now, like for my machine, I have to put it face down and that's how it works. But if you wanna know which way your printer prints, take something that's not colored so you don't waste all your color and mark a pen mark on the piece of paper and then send it through your printer. And then you'll know if your paper needs to be foot face up or face down because every printer is different. Then once it's printed, you take the washi tape off and you take some Mod Podge or you can get Elmer's glue, put a real thin coat on the canvas and then you take the tissue paper and smooth it out. If it's got a little bit of wrinkles in it, it's not bad. It's hard to try to get it smooth there, but it's the next step that makes the difference. I let the Mod Podge dry for probably about 10 or 15 minutes, not long at all. You take parchment paper. Now I didn't use parchment paper. I ended up using, I just had a Teflon heat sheet from my heat press. So I just used it, but you can use an iron. I use the little mini iron. I'll link you the mini iron that I used in the description box. It looks like a Cricut brand, but it's not. And I've been using it to test in and out for a two cent Tuesday. And well, I was pretty shocked at how well it works. 
and then I just took the iron and ironed out all the wrinkles. You just start in the center and push to the edge all the way around. It like molds it to the actual canvas. Now, if you use the big thicker canvases that have the hole underneath, you need to put something up underneath it to help give you a push. The center, it's hard to push on it because it's sinking in but just put like a little pillow or just anything, wrap up a towel and put it up underneath it so that you can get that pressure. Once you do that, then you just take, I took a sanding block, but you could take some sandpaper and just go over the edge all the way around and it comes off clean and then put it in your picture frame. Now I did have a few times where my washi tape, I'm, made it come over too far and so then it had like a white spot on that picture frame so this is the actual the thicker picture frame and you can see where my washi if you look real close you can see where my washi tape messed up and it ended up not getting ink on that spot so basically all i did was take some paint and just kind of paint it around the edge to make that blend in and because I ended up putting it on the top of this picture frame, I did take that same paint and paint all the way around just so you wouldn't have a white edge there. But I love how this picture frame turned out. So basically I left all that behind it and I just hot glued this to the front of the picture frame. These are the ones I got at the thrift store. So these two picture frames are the exact same. This one I mounted on the outside and then this one, I just took the back end off and put the picture in from the back and left the glass on it. The glass is in this one, you just can't see it. This picture frame I got at Hobby Lobby and I love how this one turned out as well. And you can see, now if you look really, really close, you can see where it folded a little bit while it was going through the printer. And I did have a couple of them that I had to totally reprint because they completely messed up. It wrinkled really bad. But this one here, I thought it just adds a little bit of character to it. I wish you could see how this really looks because I don't know that it's coming across on the camera how it looks. I love how these turned out. Another thing that I think that's great, because like these here, see this one was $4.99 at Hobby Lobby. I got it on the clearance. This is, I just stuck this inside here and I just tacked it in with hot glue. So if I wanted to, I could pop this out. I can make ones for fall. I can make ones for Easter. I can change them out. It's not gonna cost me, but a few dollars. And I can have a totally new picture in here and I can change them out for all the different seasons and holidays. I was so excited to share this with y'all because I think this is a cool technique. Like I said, they are doing this on wood and all kinds of different things. So you don't have to just do it on canvases. If you want more content kind of like this, cause I've run out of things to truly do in the RV, but I feel like decor is something that y'all like. All these are going to go in the house, but I am going to take down a few pictures and trade them out with this just because I can change them. I will link in the description box the file to all these pictures. If you like these pictures, then you can print them out and do them. This one's my favorite. Till next time, like and subscribe.